Hi guys and welcome back to episode 18 of the Rain series. In the previous episode we went into interchange and we did a couple of big raids in there and we got actually quite a lot done. So in this episode my aim is to go into customs, try and get uh, some of those customs quests done. We also need to go into factory and survive a factory raid and then we'll go from there. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. <music> So first up, I've put ourselves with a loadout to go into factory to try and kill uh, someone or some players for our daily task, which is to kill three players with shotguns or SMGs. We have the task uh, delivered in the past to finish, which is we need to uh, survive a factory raid. Once we have that, that will lead to another task in customs. And, uh, and then on top of that, we have all those customs tasks that we have from before. So like pharmacist, we have to drop off the golden Zibbo. Uh, which is a skier task where is that one hiding golden swag um, and so yeah we'll progress through and try and get those ones done but first up we need to go into factory so let's get that done let's jump into factory aid and then hopefully have big success all right factory so first up we need to make sure we get it out of the spawn Is this bit here There's a guy keeping us on the left. We can kind of see down that gap on the right too. If someone starts pushing down there, which we should be able to hear them. Could even leg meta this. Hey, bro. How you doing? Hello? I know you're there. Now we could. We Are you could... doing that task? The one we need to do the fucking tool set shit? Well, I don't know if you can hear me, but. I need to do my task off shoot the quest. Nga! Okay. The part three. Kalua Hey, man. We'll speak, hey, man. We'll speak some Indonesian to him. Kamu Buru Banget! Please. You don't understand how many fucking times I've gone to factory. And yeah, I've died a lot. I don't know what to ask you. <laughs> bit of a stalemate. I guess there was a guy down there and he ran off. There's a nice guy just, <laughs> just running back like John. I'm gonna take pleasure in getting you, boy. Oh, why? Someone else killed me. He died at the doorway. And there was someone else out there. Insta head tapped me. Head on ice. Head on ice. I did hurt the first guy on one of my shots. Oh, GG's. That's the worst spawn on all of Factory. If you get that corner spawn, there's really not much you can do. Like, you kind of. You have to kind of push either the guy on the left, you have guys running down your hallway. 
I didn't have to push out then. It's a very, very nice headshot. That was an instant headshot. Uh, we can still go shotguns. What do we got? Let's go this armor. Got some flechettes. Let's use those ones. And that, if we get desperate. Get a helmet. Uh, Medwire, six. Just some basic meds would be nice. Maybe car med kit if it's not too expensive. Cool. Let's get back in there. All right, here we go again. Same spawn. You can kind of see someone through there if they're located there. I'm gonna do a jump. There's a guy behind that barrel there. So my guess is he's camping the extract. We can counter that. We're in trouble while they go on the top. We need stamina. Stamina, stamina, stamina. No. There was a second dude somewhere up the top. I don't know why they weren't shooting each other. Maybe they're both camping. Would have destroyed the guy on the right. I put, once the guy at the top shot at me, we, I should have just re, like pulled back. So I'm thinking that was a duo camping the extract. That guy on the bottom, I, I would have got 100%. Uh, again I know you guys like to see some PvP action and me getting stomped around a little bit so still part of the fun alright let's get that 7 round mag get it twice let's do it a different way this time how about Um, repair that. I think we've got some insurance we could claim. Yep, let's do that. Uh, and six. Oop, that's everything we need. Let's go. Third time's a charm. This is the one. Those guys wrong. Yep, there is. Oh my God, that was instant, instant head eyes again. I didn't even see the guy. That was like incredible. That's twice now, two raids in a row where I died. Or yeah, two in a row. 
No, not two in a row. That one in the first one, I didn't even see the guy. He already had Osmond. Oh, man. And he had left side peak. I don't know. GG next. GG next. All right. We've got this. This is the one. I can't believe this. I don't struggle this much on factory. Like, ever. I felt like the first, the first guy definitely hit nicely. Second guy, I have no idea. That last guy was. Two nades perfectly landing on top of me, plus a head ice instant. Some people are just born gods. Let's go. Right, can we get a factory survive in? Is that four in a row in the same form? Hang on, hang on. Easy, easy, easy. No, I need to kill you. I need you dead. I just want you to die. Oh, you're a shit. <laughs> he doesn't understand what I've been through. That's not even going to count as enough XP to survive. I have to, like, do more. See my name, but why is Postally just doing that? I don't have enough XP to survive yet, which is ridiculous. Survive a factory, right? But you need more XP before you can survive. <laughs> We can leave now. We got two of our kills as well. Oh man, what an effort. What an effort that was. That was 31 to 50. Running around with the modes. Alright, so I didn't really get to explain much there. It was just at least entertaining, but the, pretty much the whole idea is there is when you shoot someone or shoot at someone, do not re peek or stay in the same spot once. At the start, I did take a couple of re peeks on that first guy because you kind of seem to be just standing out in the open. Um, but then after that, like, I didn't just hold an angle. Particularly with two of them, they would overwhelm. So you take a shot, you move. You take a shot, you move. You take a shot, you move. Try and get a bit of space. And then that way, um, there's less chance for them to uh, get up and close and just overwhelm you. And always reload when you can. So, delivering the pass done, thankfully. And now we can go into customs. I also need to make point here is also, because we hit level 20, we got Grenadier. So that is, uh, get APMC for grenades. And there's another task that we got. Long Road, which is a very 
very painful task of killing scabs on the main road by house. All right, so now that we have uh, BP Depot, that is to get at least some markers down on uh, customs. So we'll take those along with us. Sorry, uh, Dazzly. Some things just had to be done. And we'll go into customs like this. Take that. A couple of, uh, we'll take that one. And we have three or three sorted with the cabin key. We have one for the ink. So we've got to go dorms. Take a little bit of cash. Case the cards up. And good to go. Mark some stuff. Go to some places. Win. Good insurance. In case we get killed and we might get some stuff back. Or we kill a squad and take all their stuff. All right. One of the customs spawn. It's really good for dorms, but I do kind of want to try at least one marker down first. So we're going to go. Well. Oh, Lord. Oh, what? Microphone. There we go. All right, we're back. This microphone issue needs to get solved. All right. Uh, really good spawn for dorms, but unfortunately, I want to get at least one marker down first. If we get the new gas one down. We don't have to come back. The new gas. Alright. Try and get this marker down and then get back inside and loot the safe. Cool. Wallet with money. Splint, can't hurt. Uh, put that one on there now. Now we do have a marker for do it all gas. I don't really want to go to all gas. Oh, a lead X? Okay. We might have a new objective here. Maybe we do go old gas. Let me think. We got old gas and then out. So we get the county late raid let X. Golden swag. 114. Do we go dorms? Dorms are so risky. Be nice to have a found in raid let X. But even so, we still got a let X for. That's in a three. Um, maybe we just go. That's kind of dorms. All right, we've got factory key, don't we? Bang, bang, out there, cross. All right, we're going to go old gas to mark old gas, and then we're going to go for the. Extract at Stronghold through the boat basement stronghold With that
I'm just gonna leave there. Definitely heard him. You could hear him coughing, splattering, but I think it was a duo. That was the problem there. I'm getting 114 now. See if anyone's taking the car. No one's taking the car. We do have the ability to take the uh, extract, though, from Stronghold. Oh my god, jump. Please. Hello? Keep going here. Three dollars. Right, I'm gonna let that scav live. He works as an early warning for us. Car is up. Apparently, I need ammo. So that's why we left the scav up there. He's just shooting the players, slowing down. We've got our quest item, we've got a Ledex founding raid, and we've got 30 seconds on the clock to get out. Just so you guys know, a Ledex is worth about 700k on flea market, maybe 750. But it's also needed for a quest called Private Clinic, just at level 35. The player. Had the time that perfectly. All right, spawned in new new gas. Microphone didn't work, so I had to sort that out. We went and uh, went into new gas. Pipe mark the, the tanker at the back. Searched the uh, med bags. Got down a lead axe, and I was like, okay, how do we get out of here? So I had my idea was to go to uh, old gas, mark the tanker there, and then go out through uh, stronghold in the middle. After turning the power on there, heard some players inside the building. I wasn't sure if it was a player or a scav. It was a player. Got in a bit of a firefight there, he blew out my arm. I'm pretty sure I, I, I uh, hit him up a little bit, um, but there was a duo. So I, th I thought better off pulling back and then reevaluating the situation. Pulled back out and then um, that's where I was like, all right, we'll just go to the dorms, see if the car's there. If the car's not there, we can make a decision from there. Uh, did a thousand damage to armor then, so. Probably hit that guy quite hard in the in the uh, in the armor then maybe in the arms even. All right, so for the the lead axe, we're going to put that aside and we'll put that um, into the into our junk box, <clears throat> and we won't use that until private clinic. If we want to upgrade our, ho our hideout med station level three, we will uh, buy another one because then we've already got the founding raid one. So. I'll also sell that. It's worth a bit of money. Those three diaries, that tool to sell.
Oh, we used a lot of that med then. And we'll hand over this to Therapist. This should open up a few quests if I remember rightly. Look at that. Just a couple. Population sensors. It's a shrieks one. Supply plants. It's a woods one. Disease history. Another reserve one. General wares. The food one I was telling you about. Car repair. Hand over a car battery. Healthcare privacy. Shoreline one. Seaside vacation users. A lighthouse one. So. Yep. Opened up a bit. Uh, but we are going to go back to customs. I want to try and keep pushing through this task. He's restocked with some more Magnum Buckshots. So we're going to take them. And we'll make sure we take plenty. Go five, six, and seven, and eight. Cash for the car. All right, let's go again. We'll repair the armor. Something's old, hard drive. All right, let's go. All right, we're in. Pointed old gas, so we've got... We have a microphone working, which is good. Um, we can mark... The tank is here. This is called the giving tree. So any item in the game can actually spawn here. So we've got a flexi glass, but literally like you can get all abs key cards. Most valuable items in the game can all spawn there. So always check, definitely worth it. Nice bit of meds. And the reason why I wanted to mark that um, tanker at, at new gas is now we don't have to go back there, so. That's done. We we technically have a quest to do at dorms and we're gonna go for it. At least we've done the ones on this side of the map. If we wanted to, we could probably mark construction now. I think go to construction first. We're definitely not going to be first to dorm, so it couldn't really hurt. Mark construction one less to have to go back to. I think we will. All those shots are either construction or ice cream hut. So, could get spicy. So that's our tanker there to mark. Alright, play dead. I think this is a class four. It is, so what we're gonna do is Fully strip him. Take all these clothes. We should get ours back from insurance at least. And we now have his shotgun. Well, thankfully we've got the daily done now that to kill three planes with a shotgun. There we go. I want to get this marking done, so... I'm going to pull back. We don't need to kill this player. I'm going to pull back, cross the road. Oh, 
Oh, go away, Scav. He's... He's... If we wanted to kill that player right now, if we had a longer range gun, we'd go up on that hill and be able to shoot him from the side. But the marking is done. Let's use this one. So we're going to go to 303, get the golden Zibo. I'm going to make this a quest. It's a, 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 an episode of questing and success. And I'm dead. Not many people camp level 3 at the moment. But we should hopefully get in. Okay. I haven't seen that many uh, mark room campers. This what? Still probably a little bit early for it. I don't know. Alright, so we're out of there. Now we're going to go place it down. I like to try and get a little bit of distance from Dorm as quickly as possible. But then I'll walk for this bit. I usually go around the left-hand side of this. And I'll show you why. If you go on the right-hand side, you're running into people that are going to go across the bridge and go over that way. So if you're on the left, sometimes you'll just avoid them. There is a bit of dead ground here. But I actually like to run straight across the road into the dead ground on the other side. So just kind of use the tree line here to avoid some of the people on the right there. And then straight across here. Into this dead ground here. So hopefully most people have already moved away from this side, but you do get some stragglers sometimes that send 10 minutes over there. What we're going to do now is go this way, and then we're going to go up and mark the... Uh, I'll drop the item off for our quest. Then we're going to go mark the last tanker and then extract. That's our objective at least. Getting this item down is the most important because once you place it down, you don't even need to survive. And it's annoying because you have to go to Dawn to pick it up again if you die, so... Just getting there and placing it down is important. I don't need to run this, but... If there are players on the outside of the water that want to try and kill me... It's a lot harder to hit someone running than walking. Cabin key. You can take the second to uh, close the door. 30 seconds to place this one down. Then we go mark the last tanker. And then big success. That'd be two more quests done for here. Plus the daily. You don't need to shut the door, but if you leave it open, people that know the quest will go, hey, there's someone in there. Like if they're running past or something. Alright, that's that done. Um. Fastest way to mark the last tanker would be coming through here. That scav just destroyed my leg.
could have popped ibuprofen, but... I'm heal up. Oh, we hit him. Coffin is flattering. I don't like this side on this shotgun. It's really hard to aim with it. Takes up too much of your screen. Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, God. Oh, golly gosh. Last marking. And we've got to be careful we don't extract before we uh, finish the actual protecting of the objective. So we'll just walk up a little bit closer, but we won't run over. All right. And done. Extract. And that's a huge couple of raids, golden swag. And it'll be uh, BP Depot finished. Very, very, very solid. Oh, they could play tier. So what's up we got done this episode? Pharmacist, golden swag, and BP Depot. Uh, and delivering the pass. Four tasks plus a daily. Uh, we spawned in old gas, cut across to construction, placed down the, uh, the, at the tanker, then over the door to pick up the item. And then out see how i kind of i go to the paths that aren't the most common for people like that are trying to like rush their tasks so for example most people that spawn in they're like i gotta get to dorms and they'll run the fastest straightest line to dorms and they'll go through over that mountain and all that like over that hill so i go around the hill so there's less likely i'm going to run through people that are like coming at me um then when we went over to mark construction it was pretty typical timing for someone to be getting into construction so we got hit from both sides. Luckily, we got the first guy down pretty quick. All right, so BP depot done, which gives us another reserve task and bad rep evidence. So this is the bunkhouse key. That's the daily done. Golden swag is done. So this is chemical, which is another, uh, another customs task. I don't know what's showing us. That. Do we, what else do I have to hand in? Dailies. Pharmacist. Oh, we did pharmacist. BP Depot. Yep. And Golden Swine. Cool. All right. So, insurances. I think we got them all back, didn't we? We did. I'm gonna go like this for now, get all the quest items. Make it a mess again. All right. And unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna be the end of this episode. I have a killer headache and I wanna just get off the computer for a minute before I go back onto the live stream. So I'm gonna go get a paracetamol or something. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Make sure you say hi to your partners for me. And uh, really, really successful episode. I know we had a, a rough start in factory, but we, we redeemed it. We redeemed it. So a couple of quests done, three quests done, plus a daily. And uh, yeah, a little bit of PvP action, which I know you guys enjoy. Probably should turn off the, uh, the generator as well before we finish up there. First I could do another craft of this. And we'll have that done for the next episode. Cool. All right. Much love. Like, comment, and subscribe. And lastly, I'll see you next time.